Hello there everyone and welcome back to Cause Redux, I'm your host, Mr. Don Caban Union Lover, but we gotta talk about modern tactics because I accidentally already did it. Modern warfare requires modern tactics. We cannot win the wars of tomorrow with the dead ideas of the past. We must not let the next war devolve into the slogging slogging horror that was a Valkyrie. So new solutions must be imagined. Without developing modern tactics, we will all be consumed by those surrounded who have. Modernized artillery, of course. Uh, modern artillery's effectiveness has been proven since its inception in the, late, in the 19th century, being used in every major conflict on Earth since. The next war shall likely be no different, so we must keep peace or pace with the times that are neighbors by modernizing our arsenal at once. Larger, more accurate guns will be needed for the next war so that we may rain fire down upon our potential foes. And the armed column of dawn. Tanks, while only introduced towards the end of the Valkyrie, shocked the world with their ingenuity and effectiveness, both as weapons of war and were weapons of intimidation. Though the lumbering behemoths of the past will likely not prove effective in future wars, updating and modernizing the concept with the creation of fresh designs might yield success. Using foreign influences, chiefly from Russian Germany, we shall develop a new line of tanks fitting for our state. And uh, a new army, of course. Our current army is a relic of the past, lying disorganized and out modern or out uh, modernized or as archaic artifacts of the past, with a new doctrines developed and a new equipment being produced. This will also change. Even now, the troops are being drilled on how to use the tool, new tools of war and how to understand new tactics and doctrine. Our new army shall be pride of the state, serving as sword and shield for the great people of our great nation. Um, so right now we're at war with Russia. We did the whole thing. We lost twenty-five thousand. We killed off over a quarter million so far. So overall, that's not bad. Um, we are trying to encirclement here, but it's, it's going. That's about as best I can describe it. It's definitely going. As they are trying to hit our lines a whole bunch, but you know it is what it is. Um, where are you guys going? I want you guys to hang out, man. Just hang out. If we can take this tile, so we're going to circle like two divisions, that would be great. I mean, a lot of they're just literally just like almost using militia exclusively. They're also war with Siberia. So we're not the only ones they're fighting, but, you know, we'll see. Come on. I know these guys are getting in there too, but still. Oh, boy. And then Don't mind if we do. Very nice. Help them out, help them out. Now by help them out, I mean kill them off. So we're going to be just doing a lot of encirclements and a lot of butchering, hopefully, and having a good time. As we get 0.49 political power every single day, which sucks. And now they're at that much uh, losses. Now, obviously, we don't have a really great army, but, you know, and we got to move fast so we can, you know, keep doing our focuses, but, you know, whatever. I would like to do a general attack, but our manpower is just not good enough. Even though we could raise it to a service by requirement, but we'll wait first. <coughs> I would like to get some more of this stuff. War economy might not be bad to do. Um, we're just building up roads. You know, our industry, honestly, is not bad. In all honesty, man, it's not bad. I just don't want to go up to service by requirement yet, so let's go war economy. We've got it. We might as well use it right now. Cool. Um, I do want to push out. We did get Volgograd, which is really nice. But we got to just make sure we get over the river first. We can do this. Boom, boom. We can do a little boom, 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 boom. And then go over here, too. There's only militia. And do militia have anything on them? No. Does cavalry have anything on them? Artillery and recon, which is pretty nice. Now we're going grand battle plan. And we did grab proper heritage because I figured that's just the most fitting one for us. Supply, combat penalties, and core territory. Uh, cavalry and cavalry unit design cost. There's literally nothing there. So. And this is why you never, ever, 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 ever use militia. It's just not worth it. Let them attack us. Let them attack us. Hopefully they're not doing well against Trans and Muir. And uh, let them get in here first, and they'll attack that one tile. Okay, so there's two divisions right there, which sucks. So you guys do that. And you're just going to go over the river to the best you can. You do that. And you also go over the river. And you do that. And you're going to do this too. It's only five divisions. Could be better. But it's still five divisions. Come on. Come on. You got this. 88, come on. The BM1. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. It's five... Frickin oh boy, it's five freaking divisions. Nice. And just get rid of them all. You know, that's just how you do it. And get some more breakthrough. 10% more breakthrough for the entire army. And more soft stack is very nice. So, very good. Popping their heads off. I love it. Tons of losses, even though they've got plenty of manpower. Even though we're going to have to deal with a lot of resistance, which is going to suck. But local autonomy is not bad. Local autonomy is very good to get and have. Um, next up, another place where we could do encirclement is what and where. Uh, Ottomans are under siege, whatever. Um, I'd like to encircle here, so go up to here, here, here. If we have enough divisions, which we do not currently, which does kind of suck. We're only making one at a time, which is why encirclements are so important. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
Erda would not be bad either. Is Erda a victory point? No, it is a victory point, but supply base, supply base. So we stuff around here might be for the best option. Go one, two, three, four, or one, two, three. I think I like the one, two, three strategy more. Try that. See what you can muster up. Send two more divisions there. We're we fine. It looks like we're weakening our line, but we're really not. I might actually delete extra cavalry divisions just so that we can create, just because uh, we need the manpower. But we'll see. Um, expand airfields. With the advent of air warfare, planes become increasingly emphasized and utilized by powers around the world as they realize a wide range of potential applications for aircraft. Our state is no different. Um, and in order to better support our burgeoning air force, we shall expand airfields across the nation so that we get more planes can be sorted, ready, and more pilots can be trained. Yeah, pretty much. Cairo Axis. Um, they do have Intel Advantage, which does suck. I was trying to build ourselves up more, 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 more. Can we get some spies, maybe? Could we potentially form a collaboration government? That'd be kind of nice. And break over. Come on. They keep throwing in more. Oh, shh. Nikes. That's looking good. Red and red. 22 to 33. Oh. You know what? Let them waste their guns on us. Our divisions are. What type of template? Most of them are 18 combo with, so we could use engineers. I would like engineers on these guys for more entrenchment and whatnot. And penalties over going over rivers, which is why we're struggling so much. But you know what? We do have enough support for maybe maybe. Oh! Nice. Well, we should probably research engineers first. And we are. Over 30 million have died of us, which is pretty nice. But militia is just a waste of guns. It's so bad. Abramov. Abramov. Sure, guys. That's fine with us. Theater training. Do best join in the war. Nice. Some cast, maybe. Of course, it is now just 1939, which is pretty good. Some more construction speed. So they have over almost 400,000 losses to us. Not bad. I would have liked to do a general. Generic attack, but whatever. We got plenty of guns. Plenty, 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 plenty of guns. Let me see what they have. There's a lot of claims on all this territory. They got plenty of manpower still, though. Which sucks, but they have no guns. Artillery's out. Just gonna keep looking here. This guy's learning a lot. Come on, come on. Oh, don't throw in any more divisions, you bunch of suckers. Oh, got an airfield up here. Doing these two and actually destroying an actual enemy infantry division, which is not really good. Oh, hello. Okay. Sure, why not? You are just more cavalry. Um, I do want blitz and circumvents. Let's go with that one. Even though cavalry defenses, it's not bad, but I want blitz and stuff. And let's go and do that as well. These defense positions are very good. They are quite exquisite. A new army, yes. That'd be quite delightful. Expand the airfields. Special Cossack unit, yes. Which isn't that special. It's only. Oh! No! Oh, it created its own division that we're using! Oh, that's nice! Oh, we're not deleting that. Oh, heck no. Oh, that's extremely good. Holy crap. The fighter squadrons are done. Bomber planes first proved their effectiveness by Ndalfites and anti-bomber missions in the Valkyrie and the Russian Civil War. Capturing the attention of the world with their near mythic and seemingly death-defying pursuits. Whether their uses uh, proven on the battlefield, it's almost guaranteed that they will be needed in the next war as well. We should construct as many as we can so that we may act on as the beehive of sorts. Releasing a swarm once threatened, blocking out the sound of their wings and drowning out the screams of our enemies with the roar of engines and propellers. Uh, you might want to hold off to that one for now. And we made another one of these divisions. Nice. Very nice. Very good, very good, very good. How are they doing against Transamir? They're doing well. They're doing all right. Let's right, so let that division move around. They know we want to take that tile. And five divisions. Let that division move out. Where are you going, Sonny? Come on. There you go. Theater training, political loyalty. 
Defensive leadership, bold attack. I kind of want more attack. Let's go with attack. We'll go with attack for this campaign. I guess why not? Still enough support loot though. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. They're gonna throw more divisions. So are we? Just want that. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, we're so close. And we got it. Nice. Four divisions encircled. Oh, don't mind if we do. Well, those guys don't go to war with us anytime soon, but you never know. And we need to get some more new guns as well, so. Apartment, that's fine. Karel. Come on. Oh, there goes our media. Of course, our media is lost. Still winning on the assaults, and they're still losing on their assault. Love it. Beautiful. There's gonna be a lot of losses for them. Surprised the guys aren't doing any better. Let's circle here too, maybe. Disperse industry is nice. And it's a good sky. The security of our sovereign airspace must be maintained at all times. If we allow any enemies to achieve aerial superiority over the great state, the results will be catastrophic. This must never be allowed to occur. All air anti air emplacements will be spread. To dot the nation as a shield against any stray foes, while our airport shall be the sword, meaning their prey on, head on in the clouds. The skies of our home shall be ours and ours alone. The bomber wings of dawn. The sheer devastation even a single bomber can unleash was first witnessed in the fires of the Valkyrie, and the effectiveness can, has only increased with better planes and larger bombs. We'll double down on the production and fill the skies with our bombers, ready to unleash hack on anyone who dare march against us. You guys just do that. Look there, Mozambique Bush War. Dutch Middle Africa. attack us, we attack them. Pretty normal stuff, you know. Wow. The world's kind of a mess. French, national state. Wow, this is a mess too. Czech Republic and all these guys up there too. How we doing? Doing okay? Fyodor Abramov. He's becoming a trickster, which is pretty nice. 92% of the way there. He's attacking us as well. We're slowly losing here, which is unacceptable. Come on, come on, come on. Get us more army XP as well. Please, please, please. Hopefully they start attacking us again so soon. We're going to take these guys out too. German Bohemia is gone. That's nice. Oh, come on. Stop throwing more divisions, man. Nicaragua. They admit defeat. Well, they want to do that type of crap. What if we just moved into here? Ah. Uh -uh. Oh, we can't support the attack there. You know what? You guys go here, then. Thin out their line. Do they want to do stuff like that? We'll attack and win somewhere here. Because of this is a supply base over here. And we capture that. Oh, that's just really good. Anything else? No. Nice, nice, nice. Secure the sky. And get some more guns. That's a hole here, but it's okay, whatever. And 
dude. Come on. It's fine. Let me go back. I can do that too. Over here, 81%. We're going to lose there, but that's fine. All it is is a simple distraction. Actually, go this way. Makes more sense to do that. Could get more war support too if we wanted to, but probably not. Help them out, help them out. This one's taking a long time to crack. 37,000 lots versus three quarters of a million. Overall, we didn't do that, but you know, whatever. Five, forty-three, killing two more divisions would be nice. Especially if we can get, uh, we have this, but we just need to connect it through here. So now we get the supply, and they don't, which is tremendous. Combine arms, sure you can have that. What's we do with the command power? And we actually get to this group too. Nice. Kill. Hey, you killed them before we lost. Go in and you go. You guys hold. A lot of losses. That's all right. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. But that's true. We're probably going to start making these 40 combat with Produce Cruisers. Cruisers, just by the large ship or stage, is capable of manufacturing any reasonable amount of time while still being able to maintain and post launch. Serve as fantastic light to, to medium warships. We can fill a variety of roles, and while not as large as battleships with the great powers, they can still outgun or outrun most other vessels they come across. With this minor stage, they've gone ahead and uncanned a new push for cruiser development and production. Let's serve as a flagship of a new fleet, our powerful uh, pearl of the Black Sea. Invest in shipbuilding. New ships are a necessity for the formation of the Great Navy, and our state is no exception. New naval infrastructure will be created in order to further speed up shipbuilding efforts. And while uh, more dock workers and engineers will be hired to speed up the work, we should soon have a Navy worth our proud state. Submarine effort. Subs shocked the world with their effectiveness in the late last Great War, and ever since, their concept has deeply intrigued our naval staff. With new naval infrastructure in place and new funding allocated to their budget, the Navy's moved to pursue development on their own submarine models. We too shall become the wolves of the sea. But we're going to continue working on destroying the enemy. And now for a little update. Uh, the Communist France has already died. Uh, the German Empire has done very, very, very well. Because if they don't fight Russia, they don't look too good for them. Also, the Mongolians became uh, or joined the or have Japan in their faction. And they're led by Genghis Khan II. So we're going to have another part of this, uh, this campaign. Because uh, they're going crazy. But I want to see what would happen here if we did this and we did that. Uh, right now, there are over 2 million casualties. We have killed off 1.3 million enemies while taking 108,000 or so. So overall, casualty ratio, I'd say, is pretty darn decent. So hopefully we do okay here, because I would like to just do a gener generic attack and just kill them all off at this point. So That's the idea. That's a goal. Why don't you go here and do that? Fall of Algiers. Um, to, uh, we're doing this just because I think we can manage to do this. So we did do that as well. Come on, make an instrument. Yes, yes. Go and destroy them. So we should do fine and be able to break through here. We do have a total of, I can count, 34, 47 divisions. I can count. We're fighting 122 in total, but obviously a lot of them are on other fronts as well that we don't have to deal with. So, of course, we're going to try to make more and more divisions. How are we making more? I guess we are mobilizing more. I did go to service by requirement as well. It does help when you have no focuses to do that you get more political power, which is really nice. Um, so, hey, we'll see. Hey, we'll see. We will see. Royal Nuns, uh, go by two more. Because, my god, we'll need them. Alista, and we'll go to there too. Oh no, we're no longer getting naval investments. Whatever will we do? Go, 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 go. And Transmere wants to give us a lot of stuff? Oh, yes, please. Go here. And there goes Eretria. Goodbye, Eretria. There you go. Nice. Awesome. Another division encircled. Great. 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 One and a half million losses. Actually, what war support? We have 46% total war support participation, so overall, not bad. And the quiet flows of dawn. A prominent young author, Mikhail Sholkolov, has published his monumental novel, And Quiet Flows of Dawn. It tells a story about the Don Cossacks in the First World War and the Civil War, which, which combines several storylines. The conservative writer was on the side of the whites during the Civil War. Sholokov devotes a significant place in the novel of the Red Cossacks and his main character, Grigory Melikov, 
At the end of the story, it never comes to the light. So while the novel received a lot of criticism for its pro-socialist ideology, many considered it to be a re reaction towards the Russian post-war policy. The novel is going to be translated into German, French, and English and predicted to become best-seller best among leftists and rightists readers alike. A great book. A tremendous book. Down above. Go there and circle and destroy. That's all I ask. Let's circle and destroy our enemies. That's all I want. Um, so we're trying to build ourselves up with a lot of, a lot of roads. We're really road-focused here. Um, more civvies would be good, just because we don't necessarily... I guess we could use more millies, but like we can start trading away for like a thing of aluminum. That'd be pretty nice. You all might just want to do that too. Good curse. So overall, pretty darn good so far. Uh, reorganization, that would not be worth it. That's not worth it. Chief of Staff. Yep, this is really the only one that's really worth it for us, so. Might as well. There you go. Nice. Just, just destroying militia constantly. They're definitely losing on here. They have to be, right? They have to be. Fall of Barcelona. We don't have enough support coming yet, still, though. We're actually out of quite a bit. And artillery, too, now. That's not good. Keep working on all them guns. We're doing really well so far. Spanish Civil War finally over, huh? Some campaigns, they just they literally last all campaign. Come on, come on, come on. They don't have a lot of guns, which is nice to see. I took you to hold. I want to encircle these guys, so. Good. Nice. Let's name the game, just straight up encircling as much as you possibly can. One, some hundred, eighteen ish. Help them out. Nice. Uh, plus, plus intelligence, fair collaboration government. Now that's exactly what we want. That would be perfect. Of course, trying to finish your land auction too would be perfect as well, but still. Whatever. Right, taking this towel is more important than that, that one right there. Nice. Interrogation, plastic explosives. Okay, right there. Destroy that division. It's not, it's only, it's a pretty worthless division, but it's still a division that's in our way. Um, how, how much of these guys lost? 70,000. It's not bad. They lost quite a few guys. So. Excavation's very nice. Keep working on that because we could use more stuff, I guess, in general. Nice. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, ambusher, combined arms. Go with this for blitz and circumvent tactics. One, two, three more divisions. Go bye bye. Yes, please. I don't want to jinx this and say that we're going to be losing people starting from here on out, but like, we might. Like, we're. We're using a lot of manpower. Better land out, land out attack? Oh, you betcha. Goodbye, three divisions. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Yeah, see, like, we're still going to start losing losing attacks, even though 1v5, and they're, not, they're a militia, they're not great. That's still not bad. Three million manpower. They must be just raising their conscription level all the time. Like, oh my goodness. A little nuts. Are we getting there? Is it, are they cut off? Yeah, they are actually. Oh, go figure. Help them out. Every dead enemy is a good enemy. Cast, even though we can't afford it yet. And boom. Two more divisions circled. There's going to be a lot of resistance to deal with, though. Oh my god. That's over here. No. Everything over here. Level 6 is very good. Nice. 
Oh, please. We'll take any and all equipment that we can. Now, I suppose it's so easy to take these guys out than this one. I guess it's 2v1. Still. Still another division gone. It's not the love. It's pretty easy to decrypt them too, so. And else we can circle around here. This is going very, very well for us. Got a peninsula, even down here in this Central Asia, which is very dangerous to fight in sometimes because it, the supply is just so god awful. But they're so out of guns, it's not even funny. Like, we're really out of support equipment, but that's not like guns. So now they have roughly oh, about 100 divisions. They probably have a little bit more, but, you know, whatever. Hopefully don't get encircled here, but you never know. God. Look at this. Where's all? You know, it's even the one more. Not a bad division. Nice. Very nice. They're just doing nothing about it. I love it. Uh oh. Oh, well, there goes those guys. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit. A little ahead of time, but whatever. That's a thick German Empire. Oh, there goes the Czech Republic. And here comes the Poland. Build more raiders in case. That'd be nice. Hmm. We're starting to look pretty darn thin, which I don't like. I think we went the infiltration assault. Yeah. Which is fine with me. They are only 36% of the way towards capitulation, which is not good. Could be better. But still. And having the cavalry, it's just because they move so fast. It's so nice. Smosk? Maybe? I gotta go around, eh? Good, two more divisions, go bye bye. Hey, look at another guy there, too. Nice. Weekly stability? Oh, I don't want her a factory output really too much. Logistics army, get some air stuff because you can. Um, not bad, not bad. We're here. Yeah, we just need more divisions. Put on the same priority as reinforcement stuff. Ah, oh, crap, we did get encircled. See, that's why I hate this part of the block. other nations that really try to continue fighting them because this is not looking good now. Even though it says it's good, we both know it's not. Lubetsk. Come on, don't cancel out loneliness. We need that, man. We're trying hard here. We're almost at Moscow. That's actually kind of impressive, not going to lie. Columna. You know what, Cypher? Cypher it up. Nice. Uh, 
How many do they have? 115. Come on, man. 115 is all they've got left. I need you guys to force it. Oh, look at that. Two and circles. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Good. Good organization. Nice. And can you just make a wide booty encirclement? You might be able to. Okay, Moscow. When's this operation going to be done? January. Uh, like two and a half months. That sucks. Yeah, there are definite holes in our line now. Not good. If you move through that, that'd be great. Kind of doubt that they could, but you know, whatever. Hey, Moscow's ours. 71% of the way towards there. If we can circle these guys, that'd be great. And get to Petrograd, I'd be very impressed. You go up there. Hang right. Be nice. Come on. Well, oh, London. God dang, the Germans are very strong right now. Why are they so strong? I don't understand. Oh, they're seeing what we're doing. Close it, god dang it. Uh, Air Force stuff. Here want some cast. Be nice. Oh boy, another tickleman. Who could have seen that one coming? We have lost a few divisions here and there though. 115,000, 3 million. I mean, it's obvious that we've done we've done all this work. Look at all that. Don Caban Union looking pretty hecka thick. Just as thick as can be. Only level six, huh? It does help that enemy, enemy, the enemy did not care about his units. So, come on, come on. Oh, come on. You could have gotten them done faster than that. I know they could have. Well, scoff. Try it. Come on, come on, come on. We got this, we got this. Or did you go straight across? Oof. Not looking so good now. So missing. Actually, yeah, we're doing better artillery now, which is kind of surprising to see. But okay. Nice. Do not let them interfere. So they wanted to get here, which is good, since you know it's a river that's going to take extra long to get over there. But still. Fine. Break for it. Go to Luga first. Let's see what you can do about that. Nice. 2.2 million. I know we got. I guess I guess I could have done a time lapse, but I don't have time for that right now. Which sucks. Still. Also, all our div divisions are just cavalry at this point. I figured, like, why not? Go, go, go. We take it. 83% of the way there. Come on. Come on. And fall of New York City. Well, Petrograd. Oh my god, 93%. Are you kidding me, bro? Bruh. You Katrinburg? I'm in the Far East, but we were just like, whatever. Look at the ship of port, look at that. Alright, 
right, so this is a giant freaking mess right now. Gotta force it, see what happens. Well, that'll ha that's what's gonna happen. Actually, you guys go right there. That's cool. Let's go up there. We'll go right there. There you go. Got to have less than 100. Come on, come on. We're 98 percent of the way there. 98 freaking percent. We've got to get. We're going to take pretty much everything here too. We're just going to put us a war with these guys, which is going to suck. Oh come on. Which already is going to be very nice. Uh, some better planes would be nice. We got them. We got them. And we'll see how we divide this up, because we deserve pretty much all of this. And that's how the peace deal turned out. We took most of it, because we deserve most of it. We did give a little bit to Transamur, and I guess the Great Yuan gave these people their freedom. A lash order. So, it is what it is. Um, and overall, uh, we are doing the Russian Cossack Republic. Uh, we've done it. The victory over the Muscovite scum that plagued us for so long. Now the tables have forever turned in our favor, and all of Russia will be freed in our vision. Long live the Russian Cossack state, our people forever proud, and history shall forever be remembered this as our finest hour. Hurrah! So we are known as the Russian Cossack Republic. Uh, we get cores, but the aftermath of the Russian conquest is pretty god darn bad. Um, so, we have economic depression, but I'd rather be where we're at than not be where we're at. Undoing the disaster. Ooh, yes, please. Begin reconstruction. Oh, yes. Return to republicanism. Transitional military government. Oh boy, we're going to get nothing. Fate of the Russian army. Every unit leader joins the Russian Cossack Republic. Deal with the trade unions. Um, we have to gain like literally no political power, which we don't really need too much of, but that would help stability. Uh, begin reconstruction. With the war with Russia finally over, the time has come to begin reconstruction of a newly acquired tracts of land. Russia is a vast land. The destruction of war is the only worse in the situation. With the only great campaign of rebuilding, can Russia be united once more, perhaps stronger than ever before? Undoing the disaster, of course. For too long, we've been devoid of rifled Tsar and the fires of the Valkyrie in the Russian Civil War. We lost the old Imperial from the government, and with it, any sense of stability. Now that Kerensky's incompetent government is extinguished, we can restore Roman Petrovich to his rightful place as the Tsar of all Russia. That is, if he will accept. Return to republicanism. One of the few things Kerensky did right was give the people of the land the great gift of democracy. What government of oh, noble men, clowns, and dictators? Uh, done with a gift. That is why we're here. We shall rectify the mistakes and make this land the greatest democracy the world has ever known. No, I'm not sure which way. Traditional civilian government. Social conservatives versus this group, which is authoritarian Democrat. Which is, you know, all right. Fate of the far right parties. Fight of the far left parties. Cossack representation in the Duma. Except for the German Empire. Cool. Democracy and guidance. And national elections. Huh. Interesting. Oh, look at all these cords. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, still need some more support equipment, which kind of sucks. That's right. Max it out. Why not? We got plenty of fighter stuff here. We're going to need quite a bit more rubber. And what are we doing? We're not we're not able to build very much, but you know what? That's kind of okay. Easy conscription. Ooh, move capital to Moscow or Saint Petersburg. You know, I'll let you guys decide that. Which one should we do, Moscow or Saint Petersburg? Which one of those two do you think would be a better capital than what we currently have, or should we just keep it as Novocherkask? Let me know in the comments below. You know what? Screw it. I'll let you guys decide this too. Should we do transitional military government versus, or should we do transitional civilian government? Should we do return of Tsar's auto autocracy, which sounds like fun to me, honestly, versus maintain Cossack rule, which I also like quite a bit. As you can see, the Japanese block of the Great Yuan block, are, they don't like us right now. The January Restoration. The Romanov uh, line has been done much for the peoples of Russia, and now it's time for us to return the favor. We'll restore the Tsar and under his leadership prosper for decades to come. The Russian Monarchist Union's organization... Uh, representing monarchists in the Russia that supported Tsar's autocracy. Nice. Who shall wear the crown? And there is, of course, the fate of the Russian army. The Russian army should be reformed and integrated into ours. There are a lot of good leaders that are likely to join us. Adopt the doctrine of Cossack, Cossack tactics. Even more cavalry attack and defense. Nice. Our armies have used Cossack tactics for centuries. In fact, our army has mostly been Cossacks. So there's no reason to get rid of this tradition in the modern age. Instead, we should embrace the tactics of these hardened warriors and use them to become more efficient military force. Deal with trade unions. 
As we begin to rebuild Russia, most both politically and materially, the age-old question of trade unions has once more been raised. Under the Petrograd regime, trade unions were allowed to exist freely, with more radical unions being banned with the victory of the United Cossack Hosts over Russia, many calling for all unions within the nation to be placed under state control to prevent radicalization. Others still wish for us to maintain the policy of Kerensky and allow us unions to exist freely. While not the most pressing of issues, the union question is one that must be answered if we wish to be seen as a rightful Russian government. Nice. Got the doctrine, of course. Electrification program? Electricity is a wonderful thing. It powers everything from factories to radios, oil refineries to the lights at one's local church on a stormy night. To say that most Russians lack this increasingly most basic resource is an understatement. While major cities are no stranger to electricity, although a few lost its luxury during a war with the Petrograd regime, the further one goes into the interior, the further one goes back in time. If we want Russia to be a modern state, we must bring electricity to every single Russian we can. What better opportunity than during reconstruction? Business subsidies. Oh, there goes, there goes, guys. Uh, Russia is an industrial backwater. There's no way to, around that. Even before the civil war that burnt the industrial heartland uh, to dust, and even before that, our own recent war, Russia has left an acute business class. With the reconstruction now ongoing, the chance to finally build up the Russian economy has presented itself. With a series of tax breaks and general subsidies, we may finally be able to entice businesses to settle in Russia, which will be a good thing to do, of course, as well. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of this. It's taking forever to just do a 30 to 5 day focus, which sucks. The cuties of conscription, honestly, let's go and use that one. That's fine for us. That's hurting us, anyways. And we we'll get some political power, too, which is nice. Give reconstruction, return to republicanism. Uh, let's do undoing the disaster. The Russian monarchy would be really good to do next. With all this PP, I don't want to let up. We might have to do it though. Overall, that's not bad. We're still building a lot of stuff up here. We definitely need some more refineries though. Uh, we, we built a lot of roads down here too, which is actually great. Uh, yeah, we're doing that anyways. Land auction. Well, we're wrapping it up with more recon. We should probably use recon then in our, in our divisions if we get bonuses to it. So, uh, but we don't have it researched. Ew. Um, yeah, demo plus. If anything, we'll lose 5% stability. Oh, that might be worth it, maybe. Ooh. Well, that's not good. So I am. Here. Do that. Why not? Because we can. And how are the ships doing? And we have some, a few comments to go through as well, don't get me wrong. Not bad. And do we have at least one port? Yes, we do. Nice. Train, 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 until you die. Uh, some comments include, uh, yeah, slower the dunk upon Union's rebirth. Moment 100. Someone else says, please play as a Pacific states to reform the American Empire and cause redux. I'll try to eventually. Someone else says, arriba España. And someone says, cavalry tanks are a thing. The Russian monarchy. The Tsars are true leader, the father of the nation. Since times ancient, the Cossacks have sworn fealty to the Tsar of all Russia. Where Russia finally in the hands of the Cossacks, it's time to restore the Russian monarchy in his legal place. Long live the Tsar. And, oh, look at that. We're the Russian Empire led by Bogevsky. Of course, we're the Cossacks. A Cossack, a dictatorship. As we're doing the January Restoration, I didn't realize, uh, if we did this one, we can't do Return to Republicanism. Which, I guess, you know, does make a lot of sense. You know, if we choose monarchy over republicanism, whatever. So, my apologies about all this stuff here, so. Um, but yeah, Return of Tsar's Autocracy, or Maintain Cossack Rule. I kind of like this one. Cossack Puppet. Autocratic Tsar. So, let me know which one you think would be best for us. And then we'll, of course, read the event here that details... The general restoration. We're going to do the fate of the Russian army like we read earlier. Deal with all the stuff over down here. New officer school. Theater experience gain. It's not bad. Land auction cost by this point in the game, campaign. We're already that far. Every army needs officers, but the Don Kaban has suffered from a particular shortage since the Russian Civil War. Perhaps it's time for a new generation of officers that can breathe the life into a decaying officer corps. Could this be the route to our salvation? Improve artillery. The state of artillery in a country is uh, a lackluster best, but with the right attention or investment, we can restore this part of our army to a rightful place. We must regain the ability to bombard the enemy from afar. We hope to defend our borders from the enemies that surround us. Engineer Corps. Oh, engineers get even more entrenchment and fort attack and defense. That's kind of nice, not going to lie. The steps of Don Caban are stereotypically as being flat, yet this hides the fact that it's a mountainous region with forests, coast suns, and even semi arid deserts. We must employ men who can navigate the terrain and, more importantly, help our army to do so. That we can more effectively defend our own turf and perhaps someday even expand beyond it. Motorize them. For a millennia, the hordes or horses. Other uh, steps have used or served as more than military tools. They have been a way of life for our people. Now, though, the Arab horrors and warfare is coming to an end. Instead, they have been increasingly replaced with motorized vehicles that only need fuel to run. It's time for us to jump on this bandwagon as well. Deal with them, trade unions. Who shall wear the crown? Upon our government taking up the mantle of the Tsar and following our victory, we must now decide who will wear the crown of Tsar. We create a list of different noble candidates whose family had supported us in the past and before, and thus we can ensure these useful choices are selected from. Will we, will we be selecting from? We'll treat the Cossacks with the dignity they deserve in the motherland. We can choose some of the younger options of Princes Vlasovalad, Mikhail II, and Roman, as if we were to select, and shows loyalty to our Cossack regime with their crowning. We also select a much more safe and orthodox choice than Vladimir III, whose lineage is the closest to our past or former, former benefactor of Nicholas II. There's another alternate choice that's slyly spread into our circles of debate, that of Felix Yustapov, who we could crown to start a new line that is dedicated to the Cossack orders 
continued dominance of the wider motherland. Mikhail II. The solo Vlad. Roman the first, Vlad the third. You know what? Let me choose. Which one should we choose? I'm okay with any single one of these guys. Who do you want to see on the throne? So I'll leave that up to you and to see that from you. I guess we lost some stability. Whatever. Um We'll make it up. Uh what? Well, I'll just leave it there for now. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we'll see what direction we take with the Russian Empire and the Cossacks. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.